this is Karen with Grace B Creations. I hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. I am actually doing a surprise video. I had no intentions on doing a video tonight. I've been extremely busy today. I've been um, I've been um, sorting through my craft room and I um, my desk is a mess. <laughs> um, I'm not organized. I'm not I'm not ready for a video but you know what I don't care I don't care if I'm not ready I thought okay I'm finishing up the junk journal there's only a little bit of room left in the journal and I want to finish it up I was going to decorate it on my own tonight and show you guys the flip through tomorrow but I'm like nope I'm going to actually turn my camera on and I'm going to go ahead and record because you don't always need to be fully prepared for a video and it's funny because I got a comment a couple of weeks ago. A few of you might have seen it. It was on one of my videos. As I get things ready, I'll explain it. Um, but she had left me a, a comment. She wasn't mean about it. She said, you know, she loves my videos. and But she thinks that I need to be pre better prepared for my videos. And my thought is this. When creating crafts and doing junk journaling, you will never be fully prepared for what's in front of you because it's always going to be something that you're going to change your mind about that you're going to fuss about there's going to be times i'm going to jump up from my desk and i need to go grab something because i didn't have it ready for on the table that's just who i am and that's what creating it is that is what art is you are never fully prepared for art because you're always going to have something that you want to do a little differently and so I told her that in my response. I said, well, if you're looking for someone who's going to be perfectly ready for a video with all the fancy edits, you have the wrong channel. Because I want to make this, this channel about being real and showing you the hard parts of journaling, junk journaling, the good parts, the hard parts, the, the parts where you get frustrated because you can't figure out what you want to do. That's what my channel's about, and I never want to be different than that. So I thought about that tonight when coming on to, you know, I'm like, oh, am I ready to decorate the book? No, I'm not, and that's okay. I'm just going to grab a bunch of ephemera that I wanted to add to the book, and I'm going to finish it. And I'm going to see what happens and what comes up, and um, that's how um, I've done this book. So I enjoy that. Um... So let's get to um, finishing this book because I'm really excited to finish up this book and do a final flip through tomorrow. Um, yeah. So I grabbed a bunch of stuff. We have, I was working on this tag right here. This is the most recent kit from Love Me Papers. Um, I always forget. Uh, let me see. Okay, I was going to say, I didn't... Oh my goodness, I do not know where it stopped. The video all of a sudden stopped. I looked over and it wasn't recording. I don't know where I left off. I'm going to have to figure that out when I'm doing the recording. Uh, let me see. Let me just stop it and go look to see where I stopped. Because I want to I wanna make sure that everything I just said, you guys got. So hold on one second. Okay, I figured out exactly where it ended. I'm glad I went back and looked because I was talking about something important about the dangles and it stopped beforehand. I think what happened is is one of my pair of scissors hit the keyboard and that created it to hit the pause button. So clear the scissors from the stupid keyboard. Okay, anyway, so I was at this, the dangles. There's a user, there's a subscriber, I think Deb Stein, or someone, I believe it's Deb, she had asked me about the dangles that we did the other day, um, how you use them in a junk journal. Um, she didn't really understand where exactly, you, how you incorporate them. So I'm going to show her. I'm going to show all of you how, where I put my dangles. I'm going to put these two in there. Um, all right, so let's get going. Let's get decorating this book so we can finish it up. I'm truly excited. So before I started, I was making this into a tag. And this kit is actually from Love Me Papers. Her website is Love Me Papers. She's got a couple of names. Her name is Karen, spelled K-E-R-E-N. She's a doll. I love her so much. She's got gorgeous, 
gorgeous, gorgeous kits. All of the, everybody I do DT for has gorgeous kits. But um, this recent kit that I just got from her is gorgeous. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put the top on this tag. I really wanted to make this into a tag. I put a little bit of a side ruffle on that. It's so exciting finishing up a book because you try and find little places that things can fit. You're starting to run out of room so it gets more challenging. This is the part where I start just filling up the book even more. I know in the last video I said I don't know if I can fill anymore, but I found a few places I can I can throw some things in. I don't want to leave too many empty pages, but I think I want a little chunky on some of the projects. But that is okay, because I love a good chunky book. So basically I'm making a tag so we can start filling some of these pockets that we made. Although I'll probably make more pockets because that's what I do. Uh, let me see. I know I made a pocket the other day and I said I wanted to wait until it dried. I think it was these little side tucks, but that might not fit. It might be a little too wide. So I might have to put this tag. Oh, wait a minute. I might be able to put it. Nope, too wide. This is a wide tag, so I might have to actually put this onto a page like this. You know what? I'm going to make a pocket right there. See, I told you. Didn't I just say that? I, I told you I'm going to end up making another pocket. Even though I already made a few, I'm going to end up making one because why not, right? Why not add some more stuff to the book to make it chunkier? I've been wanting to use this little fabric piece for the longest time. And gosh darn it, I'm going to use it. I love it. Hold on, let me make sure that I'm... I'm going to make sure I don't make it too small. That it's got enough room. Alright, I don't want to go over the ruffle, so I'm going to cut it right at... I'm going to cut it right at here. So, if I'm a little unprepared for this video, it's okay. I had no plan on doing this video tonight. I think sometimes the best unprepared are the best videos. Sometimes it's not in the ones that you completely plan but the ones that are unplanned that come out the best. I've done some of my best projects not knowing what I was going to do. I call it working on a whim and those are fun. So I'm making a really cute little lace pocket here that I'm going to add this tag to. I'm going to let that dry for a few moments. Just put that up there. And I think this would be a good place to add one of those dangles. I'm thinking, let me see. Actually, no, no, I don't want to put it on the back side because it hangs. Let me, um, let me let that dry for a moment. Let's find a place for the page dangles. So basically you can just pin it on the top of a page. You can pin them on the side so it hangs off the side. You can almost put it in like you would a paper clip onto the side like that, but you're just pinning it with the same safety pin that you're using. Um, let's find a good place for this. I was a little worried um, working more on this book on video because it's getting so chunky that it's hard for you guys to see what I'm doing because I have to hold the book open, but we'll do our best. All right, here's kind of a good example of where I would put a page dangle. It's kind of not on a full page, but it's on the back of 
this embossed paper. I can pin it right up here in the corner and have it just hang. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to open the pin up. And all I'm going to do is just pin it to the corner of the paper. Hopefully it doesn't rip. I really should be doing this on a stronger piece of paper, like cardstock, but you know, it would be easier if I used my awl and just created a little tiny hole. This isn't this isn't the right all. This is the other poke part. Oh. oh, there you are. There you are. Okay. Ooh. Yep, that's it. It's nice and sharp. Um, I'm super, super excited, guys. Tomorrow, I am getting in my DT project box from Crafty Me Shop. As you know, I'm the D I'm one of the design team. I'm on the design team for Crafty Me Shop. Okay, really quick. See how the dangle is? See how it just hangs off a page? And that's how you do that. And I'm going to add another one and show you another way you can do it as well. But that's where you can put a page dangle. It just kind of hangs off the page like that. So back to Crafty Me Shop, right? She's sending us all the DT people, she's sending them a big box of all kinds of crafty me stuff. And I'm getting mine tomorrow. And I'm super, super excited. Uh, I cannot wait to see what's in them. What I get to create with them. It's going to be so exciting. Alright, let me put that tag in here now. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? She's beautiful. Oh, I love it. You can have it just sticking out a little bit. I think it's down here needs a little something. Um, so yes, I'm very excited. Ooh, look at that. I'm going to put that there. Uh, I'm very excited for this box. And I'm going to be doing... We're supposed to be doing the unboxing on video. We're supposed to be showing what we get. And then what we use for our projects and stuff. Um you know, linking it back to her her website and such, but she wants us to do the opening of the boxes um, on video. So if all goes well and I get mine tomorrow, it shows that it's going to be here tomorrow. I'll be doing a haul of my most recent Crafty Me order and the DT box. So that'll be a lot of fun. Okay, so I'm going to put this here because this is so cute. It matches with the ruffle. And then the tag, it just fits. So I'm going to put that there. My husband asked me the other day when I was showing him this book. He goes, so, he goes, what are you going to do with this, with this book? Is, you know, are you going to put it up in your collection or are you going to, are you going to sell it to someone in, um, and on, you know, from your YouTube channel, I'm like, sell? Ooh, I still struggle with that. <laughs> I still struggle with selling my books, but I've had so many people ask me if I'll sell my books. Um, I don't know. I haven't thought about what I'm doing with this book yet. This is actually one of my favorite books I've done. I can't say that, though. I, I think I've said that with almost every book I've made. <laughs> I, th I parted with one book already. No, two. Two books. One I sold to a woman who really, really wanted one of my junk journals. Uh, that was hard to give up, but I did it. And then the other one was the Happy Mail swap that I did with Christina Demers. That was one of the slim journals. But the one that I sold to the other woman, I think, was a five signature book. That was hard. It was hard. I fall in love with every single one of them. All right, I'm not paying attention here. All right, so I'm going to add another page dangle. I think I want to add this tassel one because I absolutely love this one. It is so cute. 
I think I want to add her where she'll be low so it hangs off the bottom of the page so uh, you know what I should do I should put it on I haven't done anything with these strings I wonder if I should hang it off the center here and have it kind of go up I could do that. Well, here's another way you can use page dangles. You can use your center string from when you book bound bounded the book and you can tie it in and have it hang off. If you're doing a tassel one, it's a little bit easier to do that. I finally got caught up on my comments, guys. I know you probably have noticed I've answered all the comments. I got behind for a little bit. And I looked and I'm like, oh my goodness, if I don't answer them now, I'm going to be way behind. Because I love answering all my comments to you all. I think a few more came in today, so I'll have to check those out. But for the most part, I got caught up. Alright, so I'm just going to tie this to the center of the book. There we go. And see how it kind of hangs off the book now if you don't want it to be that long you can just do another loop but see how it kind of hangs off and you can always put it up like that or but if you shut the book it kind of hangs off the bottom of the book it's like a pretty little tassel that's another way you can do it I think it's hanging a little too low so I think later on I'm just going to go in and I'm going to just shorten it a little bit. I'm just going to tie it up a little further. Probably just make an extra knot like that. Alright. Now, what else did I want to do? I wanted to add a little bit of this ruffle to one of the pages. So let me look at the edges. I, don't, I think I'm all edged out here. I think I've got room for one right here. I think I can add a little ruffle right here. I just want to add this because I really, really love this ruffle a lot. So I'm just going to go ahead and just do the edge on here. I'm so excited to be finishing up this book tonight. I did a poll over on the Grace Bee Creations Facebook group. I'll leave a link in the description below. If you guys haven't joined over on the Grace Bee Creations Facebook group yet, go on over and join. We have a lot of fun over there sharing projects and um, we have a hundred members so far. It's really exciting. Um, I put a poll up today asking uh, what is your favorite, what are the things that you like most about the page? Do you like uh, the, the, the YouTube channel? Do you like uh, the, the tutorials, the hauls? Do you like um, the, the flip throughs, the Monday, making it Monday? Uh, so far, the one that's won the most is tutorials. So I was pretty happy about that, that's cool. Okay, so the other day, I did the Roxy Creation Challenge. I think it was over the weekend, her little tag challenge where you do like a, it's almost like a master board on, on a piece of paper and then you cut it into tags and you don't know what you get until you turn it around and I absolutely love this challenge. So I made these little tags here and I want to incorporate one into the book. So I'm trying to think which one would fit the best in this book. I really think this one is cute. Um, let me see. I'm 
think it's out of these three. Out of these two. Maybe I can do both. Let's see if we have any pockets left. I know we have two pockets here. Okay, I can do one here. And I wanted to, I want to do something with, okay, let's find a place for this tag here. And then I will go ahead and work on, actually, ooh, that fits really well. Actually, you know what? I don't know, do I want to put that? I don't know if I want to hide that in the pocket. Maybe I'll just tack it up. What I might want to do is put some a tea bag. I'm trying to think. I want to layer and do a couple of layers here with some let me grab oops I'm just trying to layer a couple of things here so I can put this inside. I'll take an old postcard. We've got a, a, a Polaroid, an image here, and then a, an antique vintage postcard. I'm going to clip these together. I'm going to clip those together, and then I'm going to add this. My desk is a mess, I'm telling you. It's okay, it's okay. I'm trying to think if I want to just... Sometimes it's about the little details, right? I think on the bottom of this, I'm just going to add this little piece of leftover lace from the pocket that I made. Make sure it's going the right way. Turn it around, glue it on the back. Like that. See so here, just add some fabric on the bottom. And I'm gonna tack this up. Where was I where I was gonna do that? I was on a page. Oh, I think it was right here. Yeah. I could put this inside here, but I really want to tack this up. What I could do, I could go ahead and pin it. Ooh, I like it. And I can still add something in the pocket that would be short. I don't have to put something in this pocket. I mean, it's... It's a, it's a lace pocket. You don't have to put something in the pocket, right? Um, let's see. Okay, what was I going to do next? Alright, I was working with... I want to put this... This is gorgeous. I'm going to hold on to this and make something out of it. I want to do a project with that. I'm trying to see what I want to do with this. Ooh, I like the way that looks against the pink. All right, I'm going to go ahead and tack that up as well. But I want to add something else on the top here. Something really cute. All right, here's an idea. I'm gonna cut 
two of these flowers. Only one. It's a little too long. <laughs> I, I thought it was going to be a little too long. I wasn't sure. Okay, got that there. I'm looking, I'm looking. Um, I wish I had more of my stuff out, but I don't. I don't, I don't. I hope that you guys are having a good day today. I cannot believe we're going into Thursday already. I cannot believe tomorrow is Thursday. I made these tags the other day. Well, they're like little, little bird. Little, I was testing out those stamps that I got. I can add one of those probably as a belly band. That would be cool. I'm trying to see if there's something I want to add. Maybe I can just tack it just as it is. Just with the flower on top. I just love the way it looks on this pink paper. It looks gorgeous. The background is really pretty. Did I? Okay, I thought I... Did I? Nope. Okay. Doesn't that look pretty? I love how the flowers come down and then the clock. Love that. Alright. I'm keeping these open. I love the way that this looks. You can just stuff something in there if you want to, but I'm just going to keep it. This would fit. Okay, that fits really well, but it's too white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put lace on the bottom here. You don't want to put it over it because it would cover it. So what I could do... Or, you know what you can do? Okay, not white, not white. I need something a little darker. I have an idea. Okay. What I could do... Gonna say I can make this into like a belly band pocket but I want something a little darker what about yeah I think that'll work let me just put that aside for a moment All right, so what I'm gonna do, so I'm just gonna trim it here. And I'm gonna go around to the other side. I'm gonna glue it. Like that. Scissors. Okay. I'm gonna trim it. And then this is like a little pocket. You can stuff little things in there. Maybe even a pen if you wanted to, right? And then you can turn it into a belly band or I can just put it right here in this pocket. Look at how cute that is. I love it. That's so cute. All right, it's getting pretty full, guys. I'm scared. I'm scared I'm gonna have to sit on it to shut it. Um, I wanna fit this in here, though. 
because I absolutely love this project that I did. I think I might want to add it. Okay, the front's pretty full. Ooh. She can go there. What I can do is I can pin her from the other side. I found a home for her. Yay! Here we go. I have my flip down. Now I can go like this. Well, it's got to stay there somehow though. Hold on, let me think for a minute. I'm going to tack it on the back so that when I take the pin out, it doesn't move off the page. Right on the edge here so that this flips down. Like that. Can you see that? That'll come down like this. So it's going to tack from the side, but I glued it on the left side so it'll stay on the page when I open it. There. Isn't that cute? Can this fit in here? She sure can. Squeeze her in there. Wow, I think that this is pretty much done. We're going to do a final flip through tomorrow. I'm going to go through it one more time by myself tonight. Make sure everything is like and tidy. Oh, look at this. Found the perfect place for this tag. Those are the pockets I was talking about. That fits perfectly. And that matches, too. Oh, I love this book. I'm so happy with how it came out. I can add this little tea bag. Oh, she can't fit anymore. <laughs> She's like, the book is saying to me, no more, I can't eat anymore. Okay, one more bite. Right there. I promise, no more after that. <laughs> this little tea bag needs a home. If she fits, she sits. <laughs> there she goes. Little tea bag pocket. All right, I think I'm done with this book. I, I can't even open it to work on it anymore because it's like. She's beautiful. I'm so happy with how this came out. I've had so much fun working on this book with you guys. Look at this. Look at this. Let me just raise this up a little bit. If I can raise it up a little bit. Right? Look at this yumminess. This has been such a fun book. Look, see, I can't do any more. Because she's like, let me put the top on. We're going to do a final flip through video tomorrow. Wrap her around. Tie her up. Nice and tight. And there's the tassel. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness. Oh, I can't believe that we made this book from from card from uh, chipboard to decoupaging the fabric. Then I had to take it apart and put it back together. Then we made all the signatures together and this has been such a fun book to do with you guys. All right, well, I'm going to end this video here so I can upload it and surprise you all with the video tonight. I will 
see you in a video tomorrow. It'll probably be a flip through and then a haul. I might be doing two videos or I might be just doing one. I'm not, I might combine them together or I might do them separate. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see when tomorrow comes. I'll see if my um, package comes in um, and we'll just go from there. Well, I thank you very much for watching tonight. Thank you for making this journal with me. I've had so much fun with it. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe if you haven't yet. Go ahead and join my Facebook group. I will leave a link below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great night, everybody. Bye.